So, today is the 5th, April 5th. Brighter days ahead. Yes, brighter days ahead. So, the Holy Spirit gave me a vision as I was sleeping. And it was just a quick vision. It just like popped in my head and popped right back out. And it was a bright light shining between the frame of a closed wooden door. So it was quick like a flash. And so I was like, okay, so Holy Spirit, what are you saying to me? <laughs> you know, like I always do. And the scripture that he gave me is John 1, 5th verse, ESV is where I read it from. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. So then I asked the Holy Spirit, well, okay, what are you saying to me? So these are the words that he gave me. It may look dead, closed off, and defeated. A defeated situation. No way out. But light always shines in darkness. It may look like nothing is happening. But the Lord is working it out behind the scenes. The spiritual realm is where he's working it out at. Okay, y'all? He's working it out behind the scenes in the spiritual realm. Okay. He's working it out for your good. You may have gotten a closed door in your situation. Mm -hmm. But brighter days are on the way, y'all. Brighter days are on the other side of it. The Lord will make a way out of no way. When you least expect it, be still and know that I am God. Yeah. I can do more than you can ever think or imagine. Victory is mine, says the Lord. So, when God is telling you to be still, y'all, he wants you to just be still and rest in him, knowing that he will carry you the rest of the way. Oh, yeah, that he will carry you the rest of the way. That he'll work everything out for you good. God said to abide in me. Yeah, he wants you to abide in him. He wants you to rest in him. So, this is the scripture that I have. John 15 chapter 4 verse Amplified Bible Remain in me and I will remain in you Just as no branch can bear fruit by itself without remaining in, in the vine, neither can you bear fruit producing evidence of your faith unless you remain in me. Oh yeah So that's what the Lord wants you to do He wants you to remain in, remain in Him You know Don't give in to the enemy and his Mind game, just remain in Christ. It all work out for you good. Oh yeah. So, right here, the Gospel of John. I'm gonna read it to you. The Gospel of John, y'all, because I wrote it down. It tells a story about Jesus. Jesus and you know Lazarus. Lazarus was Jesus' friend, you know. Um, and Mary. The sisters Mary and Martha. So when Jesus found out that Lazarus, Lazarus was ill, rather than to rush to Lazarus' aid, you know, to rush and help Lazarus, to rush to his house and heal him, Jesus stayed away. <laughs> yeah, he stayed away. He was there for two more days. So that was a that was a total of four days. And before Jesus arrived in Bethany, Lazarus died. Yeah, before Jesus arrived in Bethany, Lazarus died. Oh, yeah. John 11, chapter 6, verse NIV. So when he heard that Lazarus was sick, he stayed where he was two more days. Yeah, that was a total of four days. Because, you know, they already rushed out to him and saying, Jesus, my, you know, Lazarus is ill. My brother is ill. But Jesus stayed away two more days, y'all. You remember, his timing is not our timing. And we all have to remember that. Not just y'all, even me. Because <laughs> sometimes I want, when I want something done, I'll be like, Lord, do it for me right now, Lord, because I know you can. So do it for me now, for all I need it. You know? But we got to remember that Jesus' silence could have been taken as not caring for Lazarus, you know. Not caring or even wanting to help him. 
I mean, I know that's how I would have took it. If I'm calling Jesus to tell him to come help my family member because he's ill, you know, real ill, or she's real ill, and Jesus, they need you. But you didn't come to two, you stay where you was at two more days after I told you this was, this was an, <laughs> an emergency. But his timing is not our timing, you know. Everything he does is perfect in all his ways. We just got to remember that. We got to try to remember that. Yeah, me too. So this reflects many of the emotions that we feel when God doesn't fix things immediately or answer things immediately. When we call on him for help. Oh, yeah. But we got to remember when Jesus, when Jesus is silent, that draw us close to him. You know, some of us may try to get a hard heart, but if you're in the word of God and you already know how he operates, that'll draw you close to him. You'll want to get in his word. you want to study that word and read his scriptures and remind yourself of his word and what he said he will do and what he can do, you know, and it all work out for your good. You'll start quoting those scriptures out loud. So yeah, when Jesus is silent, that's the time when we draw close to him. And um, understanding that his power, understanding that his power is not nothing that we have because we can't do nothing on our own. Yeah. So four days, y'all, after Lazarus had died, <laughs> Lazarus was raised from the dead by Jesus. He raised him from the dead. Yeah. He raised him from the dead. Jesus don't show up when we want him, but he show up right on time. And he's always on time. So Habakkuk, second chapter, third verse, ESV says, For still the vision awaits its appointed time. It hastens to the end. It will not lie. If it seems slow, wait for it. It will surely come. It will not delay. Ecclesiastes 3, 1, ESV, For everything there is a season and a time. For every matter under the sun. Yeah, there's a time and a season for everything under the sun, y'all. Because his timing is not our timing. So, like the Holy Spirit told me when he quickened my spirit with these words, y'all. It may look dead, close off like it's, um, it may look dead, close off a defeated situation, no way out. But light always outshines darkness. It may look like nothing is happening. But the Lord is working it out behind the scenes. In the spiritual realm, he's working it out for your good. You may have gotten a closed door in your situation, but brighter days are on the way. Yeah, brighter days are on the other side of it. The Lord will make a way out of no way when you least expect him to. So be still and know that I am God. I can do more than you can ever think or imagine. Victory is mine, says the Lord. So just remember, y'all, victory is his, says the Lord. It may look like it's not going to work. It may look like it's a closed door, but sometimes God closed doors that we don't need to go through because they are not good for us because he can see in the future what we can't see. And he's protecting us from it, you know? So he, he opened doors for us that no man could open. You may be wondering, like, how did I get this? How in the world did I get this? I'm not even qualified for this. But God saw, God saw what you don't see. He saw what that person didn't see. The people that wouldn't give you a chance. God gave you a chance. He opened that door for you. He moved people out the way so you can move, so he can move you in there. Yeah. He he um got it ready. You know, got it ready for you. So by the time he's opened that door for you to go in, everything has been cleared out and just ready for you. Ready for you to come. <laughs> yeah, just waiting on you. So God's timing is not our timing. We just all have to remember that. We all have to remember that. Even myself, I have to remind myself, you know. And edify myself up in the word of God of his um words, you know, reminding myself too. Because I'm human. I'm a woman of God, but I'm human too. I get weary at times, you know. Even though I believe with everything that's in me, sometimes I still get a little weary and, and antsy and you know, like impatient and like, oh Lord, come on, Lord. I'm, I know it's been a minute. I've been waiting for a minute, Lord. So <laughs> when are you gonna show up and show out on my behalf? You know, so it's just a word that the Lord gave me, you know, when he gave me that vision. That light shining through that wooden door. And you know, light is Christ. He is the light. Oh, yeah. So, 
if you don't know the Lord, you sin. Or if you're a Christian, a man or woman of God, and you backslid and you sin too, you know. Or if you just never knew the Lord and you want to give your life to Christ, I have the prayer of salvation. And I'm going to say you repeat after me. Dear Lord Jesus, mm -hmm. I ask you to forgive me of my sin. Known, unknown, thought, deed, and word. I believe you died and rose from the dead. I turn from my sin and my wicked ways, and I invite you to come into my heart and into my life. And I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Oh, yeah. So welcome to the family, y'all. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the family. So just know the enemy will attack you because now you gave your life to Christ, so it's not going to be all smooth, all peaches and cream, y'all. You just got to stay in that word of God, get with other believers, you know, to help edify and build you up in the word. Look at ministry channels. You know, look at YouTube videos with people just sharing the word of God on you. To edify and build you up, to fan that flame of fire that's within you. Listen to podcasts. Go listen to Ambassador for Christ podcast. That's my podcast that the Lord gave me. And also, you know, check out my videos. Go check out more of my videos. Because I have more word of God in those videos. That I edify and build you up. Yeah, so. Romans 10, chapter 13, verse. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Yeah. Romans 10, chapter 9, verse NIV. If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. And also, you have to get water baptized. So if you don't have a church, you know, pray ask the Holy Spirit to put in your spirit to direct you to a church to go to. One that's Holy Ghost Spirit filled, Bible reading, faith based. Um, so you can get fully baptized, you know. Because when you get fully baptized, submerged under the water, the old man will die. The old way of thinking, living, acting, believing, walking, talking. Yeah, it'll die. It'll be submerged under that water. And when you raise up, you'll be a new creation in Christ. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. So, also read about, and that was, um, I'm going to read Acts, 2nd chapter, 38 through 39 verses from the NASB Bible. Peter replied, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, the promises for you and your children, for all who are far off. For all whom the Lord our God will call. And also read about testing the Spirit, y'all, because if anybody tell you that Jesus didn't come in the flesh, that's not true. Because the Holy Spirit placed the seed in Virgin Mary. She had Jesus. She had him in a manger. He began to, you know, he got older. He started, you know, walking the earth, making disciples, making fishes of men, teaching that word, you know, drawing others to Christ, teaching them the word so they could teach others. Yeah. So he did come in the um, he was flesh. He was flesh like us. Oh yeah, so that's how we can identify ourselves with him because he know what it is to be with and without, to have and not have, you know, have plenty and have less, little. He know all of that, just like we know. He know he cried before, you know, he was sad, he was happy. So he know. So that's how we can identify ourselves with Christ. So he did come in flesh. Read 1 John 4 chapter 1 through 6 verses. Test the spirit because if anybody tell you that Jesus didn't come in flesh, that is not true. Don't believe that. <laughs> okay? Also read about the spirit of divination. You know, like witchcraft and stuff. All this other kind of magic and crap. Mm -mm. Acts 16 chapter. 16 through 18 verses. And I would also like for you to check out Ambassador for Christ podcast. So you can get more word. You can listen to it on your radio. You don't have to sit and watch the video. Just Put your earbuds on. Listen to it. Put your headphones on. Even, even the truck drivers. You can just listen to your podcast and your radio. So, anything you need to know about me, you can, um, well, some of the things you need to know about me, check my about section on the YouTube and Ambassador for Christ channel. And it'll tell you a little bit more about me, why I like, why I love Christ, you know, how he saved me. And also, if you have prayer requests, I'm going to put up my Gmail link so you can check it out and I'll pray for you. Yeah, I'll pray for you. So, I would like to thank you and I ask the Lord to just bless you. Father, get in my ear to hear and the heart to receive your word. Whoever this word is for, let it fall on good ground, Lord God. Anything that's not in here to try to hinder this broadcast, I rebuke it in Jesus' name by your judgment fire, burn down every evil altar of wickedness, Lord. Anything that's not in here, send us to the pits of hell where it belongs. We welcome the Holy Spirit to fill this place in the name of Jesus, the Christ of Nazareth, the Messiah. So click like, share, and subscribe, y'all. 
like, 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 share, and subscribe to the YouTube um, ministry channel, you know, to Ambassador for Christ channel. And I just give God the praise, the honor, and the glory for his goodness, for he is worthy to be praised. So blessings to you. May the Lord bless you, keep you, make his face shine upon you, be gracious unto you, and give you peace. <laughs> In Jesus' name, yeah. And until the Lord quickens my spirit with something else, y'all, blessings, blessings, blessings to you and your families.